Hi, I'm Jared Crocker and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today, we're gonna be spray foaming my shed to house. Shoot dang. What's up people? So as you saw, we are going to spray foam this shed house. It's a 14 by 32. We're building everything out on the inside. I'm going to wait for Jace to get back from town. He's going to help me spray foam everything. It'll just make it a lot easier with two sets of hands. Uh, from what I read online and saw in videos, uh, you don't want to wait a long time in between spraying because the nozzles will get clogged up and you have to order new ones. So what I'm going to do is uh, we're going to try to see how much we can spray foam. I have two froth pack kits, which I picked up on Amazon. They're $1,000 a piece. I have a third kit on the way, which will be here later this week. It's the same type. It's just a different brand. So I want to try to see if, uh, if it'll do any better than this one. But for now, like I said, I have two kits. I just finished uh, wiring everything up, as you saw in my last video. I did go back in, and I got thicker gauge wire for the water heater and for my oven. Uh, there was a lot of comments saying that I needed to get thicker wire. So I did, as you can see behind me. I have this uh, real thick black wire over here. I have it sticking out over here at the bottom. I went uh, for the stove. I'm going to go underneath the house. I'm going to put it through conduit and back up. And then uh, same thing with the, the mini split system that I have. It's going to go underneath the house as well. Everything else should be through the walls. But I have everything taped up ready to go. All the windows are covered. The floor is covered with paper and tape. It's going to be a wild video, guys. It's going to show the good, the bad, the ugly. This is just going to be my honest... Uh, I, not really a, I guess it could be a review, but I'm just doing it and I'm just going to be uh, very honest about it. If it's good, I'll let you know. If it's crap, I will let you know. Once again, these kits are not cheap. It's $1,000 a kit. I have three of them, so $3,000. I know it's kind of pricey, but if I got a company to come out here and try to spray foam everything, first you got to wait and see if they're even available. Everything is so far backed up. Some things take forever. Uh, it's just going to be a lot more expensive that way. So I want to try to do it myself. That's one thing that I wanted to do with this shed to house build was have everything done uh, by myself for the most part or with the help of Jason. And uh, so far we're doing good. I'm happy with the way everything's coming out, but I am extremely anxious to get the spray foam going. So anyways, let's stop talking. Let's get to spraying. All right, so first thing I gotta do is get dressed up for the part, make sure I'm covered head to toe. Uh, unfortunately, these suits didn't come with everything they said. It was supposed to come with a, a mask, gloves, uh, little booties to go over your shoes, and all it came with was just the suit itself. Give you an idea, it's about 90 degrees today. It's gonna be a little hotter in here. Probably about 100 inside here right now, and it says that that needs to be, when I was reading it, anywhere from 75 degrees on the low end to about 120 on the high end. So I got my suit on. I'm just gonna wear some old shoes in case they get dirty, it is what it is. Like I said, it didn't come with the, uh, the booties like it said it did. All right. Got some gloves. I can already feel it, it's getting hot. All right, let me grab my respirator. Pick this up in town from a local store, Varner's, for $30. All right. Make sure it's nice and tight. There we go. We are ready to go, cover from head to toe. Next thing I gotta do is get the gun ready. Make sure that it has both of the chemicals shooting out the same distance. I'm gonna shoot it inside of a trash can and then we're gonna start spraying these walls. All right, so the first thing I did, I hooked on both of these to the tanks, both of these tubes. What we're gonna do now is we're gonna test it out. I just gotta turn them on. I'm gonna pull the trigger to see if the chemicals are coming out evenly through these tubes. I have the trash can back here with the trash bag in it. I'll just spray in it. If everything looks good, I'll put a little bit of this uh, white petroleum on the end of the gun, put the tip on, and we should be ready to start spraying. So I guess the next thing we gotta do is just test it out, and hopefully everything comes out good. 
All right, here goes nothing. Got them cranked up. Got this one cranked up. All right, here we go. so I got the first coat on here in the living room and kitchen well when I first started spraying over here the nozzle wasn't on all the way so it started spraying a little crazy so I adjusted it and uh, it seemed like it went on fairly fairly quickly fairly easy uh, I am glad that I put down stuff all over the floor because you can see down there I mean it sprays on the floor I can just imagine we do the ceiling but I did one coat I forgot to do underneath this window over here but I got uh, basically from my back door over here, I did the whole kitchen wall, I did this wall over here, and I did the front wall over here, minus up there in the dormer. So I started to go above the door as well, and then probably go back in and uh, do another quick coat on it. Whew. It does it quick, it goes on very, very fast, and uh, you just gotta keep moving, keep moving, keep moving, that's the key to it. You don't want this to uh, expand too far, and uh, from what I was reading online and stuff, like I said, just go fast and then go back and do another coat if you need to. So I got to sit down. I'm getting a little lightheaded. Uh, like I said, it's pushing about 100 in here. And when you're wearing a full suit like this, it definitely gets to you quick. So I'm going to take a quick break and then we'll come back in and I'll do a whole nother coat on this. So I got some help now, which is going to make it a lot easier. I went ahead and sprayed one coat here in the living room. We're going to try to finish out the living room and kitchen ceiling and everything and then uh see where we're at at this point right now i still have part of this these two tanks over here left i just did a very very light coat which you can probably see on the walls uh, it is messy but it's really not that hard to do you just got to move fairly quickly and then once you get your rhythm especially with two of us i can move the tanks and he can spray so it should go on fairly quickly here y'all just look adorable in your little suits yeah especially not 100 degrees inside here yeah this new suit goofing. <laughs> this new suit goofing? Yeah. Hey, it's Brian. Well then, let's just roll. Wait a minute. And you have to hold it down pretty good.
you want a good thick coat. To me, that's what you want. Did you get your other kit today? What? Did you get your other kit today? Dang. It'll be here later this week, but I have these two, so at least hopefully do this room over here, and I'm thinking the other kit might be the enough for the bedroom and bathroom. Yeah. Just, I mean, as you guys can tell, pretty much got it all here. low on this first set I can tell the tanks are a lot lighter so we might be able to do two coats in here with just that one kit. I think this set can do good. That one's good I think. Oh. I mean, you can feel like, or not feel the temperature, but like as far as like the echo, it seems like it's definitely helping it out already. Because out here it'd be, hello, 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 hello. hey. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I'm very impressed with it so far. There, like I said, there's spots like this, I'll have to go in and shave it off, but I'll just get like a metal, uh, what are they called, like a little... Just like a drywall spackle, spackle yeah. thing and just cut that stuff off. Um, that's with one kit so far. It's still not, um, it's almost empty, but it did all these walls fairly good. I think that's pretty good for these walls. And then uh, the other kit will have to do the ceiling. The ceiling will have to do a little bit thicker. It did more than I expected. You know, so, I mean, it's, it's definitely hot. So take a quick break and we'll come back at it again. Round two. Don't like that one? Yeah. Just keep in mind we only have four left of those. This one's way more for the corner. So again, that was the white one? Yeah. And the then... blue one is more of a fan. Which is what we've been using. And you can order extra ones on, on Amazon, but I didn't. I like this one the way it is better too. When you're far away, when you're it's far okay. away, yeah, it's not that bad. Plus, we have the doors open. So these do tell you the temperature on the side, say 95 right now. It says anywhere from a 75 in the low end to 120. So we're sitting at 95, so we're good. So if you're in, if it's cold weather, you want to keep it really hot. A lot of people build boxes. Put the tanks inside there and heat them up.
Uh, it's definitely a lot different doing the roof. <laughs> well, I think that it wasn't a... I don't think the two were mixing correctly. I mean, it could be. I think we're going to have to take a, a razor, cut that, and get whatever we can get off. Yeah, so you can see up there it's not adhering to the wood up there, so I'm thinking that it didn't, uh, the chemicals aren't going correctly. And I may have just gone a little too thick. That it may need a first coat. We kind of did it kind of just a fast and then go back. So I'm pretty sure it uh, got sprayed on a little too thick up there. So he's just going to cut out that section and we'll respray it. We just hooked on a new tank. Just to give you guys an idea, this is a Froth Pack 620. It did my entire kitchen wall, the wall that's over here for my living room and uh, kitchen, and then over here on my living room wall as well. Probably about two inches thick on most of it. Some are a little bit thicker than others. Uh, we're going to try to see if we can at least get the rest of the ceiling done in this area, and then I have another kit coming in later, which I can do the other two, uh, the bedroom and the, and the bathroom. I mean, it seems like you I think the key to it is just a light coat the first time and go back and do it again. But on the roof for sure, on the ceiling. Jared, you got a man down, not the real tree hut. It's all right. <laughs> So realistically, it took us about an hour or so to do the living room, the walls, and the ceiling. It took about a kit and a half. I can't hear out of the ear right now. I don't know why, but uh, it's very, very, very messy. Look over here on the floor. I am 100% glad that I covered everything. Not only that, I have stuff out here. The overspray started spraying out. You can see it's all over my power banks. I was not expecting stuff like that, so... Just keep in mind, it does get everywhere. You can check on the windows where the plastic is. There's stuff all over that. So if I didn't cover it, the windows would be covered. It'd be almost impossible to keep clean. But uh, we have our suits, the respirators, all this stuff. And definitely helps, but it's definitely hot. Uh, I would personally recommend goggles or a face mask. Um, I don't know if you guys be able to see or not, but I think I got some all on here. Um, we just kind of try to get it done. But... Uh, it covered way more than I expected. Uh, I was, I'm going to be completely honest, very worried when Jared said he bought this off Amazon. Uh, I told Danielle right before coming over here, I said, I really hope he didn't waste his money. Uh, as of right now, I think it's great. Um, yeah, uh, it's it's way better than I truly expected. Yeah, and I mean, it... It cures within like 30 seconds, and oh, then, uh, yeah, it's bad. or it hardens in 30 seconds, and it cures in, I think, less than five minutes, yeah. but it'll definitely help it out. It's not 100% all the way out to the studs and stuff, but this will still be better than the pink insulation. It'll be way better than that. Yeah. Um, we did that down in Texas on our, the shed to house down there, it was a 16 by 50, and uh, I could definitely tell during the winter time that... Uh, the pink insulation was not as good. Yeah. Uh, I've been in a couple of, of these that have been spray foamed and it just seems 100% better. Yeah. Uh, basically, that's all we're gonna be able to do for now. We still have about half a, a kit left, which will probably go in and just fill in the low spots at a different time. And then I have another kit coming in later this week. 
to do my uh, bedroom and my bathroom. So that'd be in another video. But for being an Amazon spray foam kit. What would you rate it? One out of 10. One out of 10 right now, as far as it going on and stuff, I'd say, I don't know, maybe a nine. That's what I would say. I'd say a good solid nine. If you knew what you were doing, you yeah. could really make this nice. Because this is a, we're definitely DIYers doing this the first time. We have never done this. But uh, once again, I will just say this over and over and over Prep. because this is stuff that I looked at on videos. Prep, take the time, tape stuff off. Look at this, guys. Taped all this stuff off. It's still holding up. There was overspray all over this. The windows would be destroyed. And that's pretty much every window. All the floors, when I take all this stuff up, it'll probably still have a little bit of stuff on the floor, but not much. It wasn't terrible if you're only doing walls, but the ceiling, yeah, crazy. But uh, yeah, like I said, we'll go back, spray it a little bit thicker. But uh, as for now, I'm very, very pleased with this. Uh, I would definitely recommend the Amazon Spray Foam DIY Kit. Yeah, I truly am shocked. Like I said, right before coming over here, Literally had a conversation with Danielle saying, I hope he didn't waste his money. Yeah, and I'm not going to do a, a temperature test yet because the, the bedroom and bathroom's not done. But on my next video, once I complete that, I'll flip the AC on. We'll do a before and after, and you'll be able to see if it cools it down or not. Once again, this is a black building, black metal roof. And uh, I'm very, very pleased with this product. And uh, yeah, so I hope this video can help people out. If they're on the fence about doing it, if you have a small project, I would definitely recommend this. They have smaller kits. This was one that was a 620, uh, what does it say, square boards or something? Or, board foot. Board foot. Uh, they make them where they're like $300, uh, $300 or so. But uh, anyways, I guess we'll go ahead and wrap up this video. Uh, Jason's about to go live on the Crockers. If you don't know who that is, that's his channel. And uh, they're doing a tiny house that they're building from the ground up. So I practiced on his first. Yeah, it was good practice. Uh, once again, this is a 14 by 32 shed to house. Yeah. And uh, yeah, it's very, very hot. Like I said, when I first started, it was about 90 degrees, probably around 100 in here, wearing these suits and stuff. About 200. Yeah, it gets very, uh, you get very lightheaded quick. So we take a lot of breaks and you have to constantly change out the tips and keep the gun clean. So anyways, uh, comment down below. Let us know what you think. Once again, the total cost so far was $2,000. I have another $1,000 kit coming in. So, yeah. any last words? Uh, move fast. Yeah. That's all I got to say. Don't go slow at first. You can always go back and spray again. So, anyways, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching, and we'll catch you on the next one. Peace.